Oh, oh really? No. Let's do it. No. Let's do it. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm wondering where we're going with this. How do other musicians even talk to you? Why are we in black? What kind of show is this? It's You're totally bad. inspiring. I got hotel keys in every pocket. This was a Beachcombers episode. You ripped this <laughs> off. You are watching Stripped Down. You are watching Strip Down, Saskatchewan's only one-hour local music showcase, the award-winning show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. I am your host, Curtis Anderson. Returning tonight for the second time this season, ladies and gentlemen, it's Dick McInnes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I pray you never hear the words so many have to hear. But keep in mind that freedom lies on the other side of fear. And don't be scared of setting suns that bring the night from day. Cause even in the darkest hour, morning's on its way and hope will spring eternal from the tiniest of seeds no hope might just be all you have hope is all you need <coughs> Just because a flame is hot does not mean you'll get burned. Cause faith is what we're born with, and fear is just what we learn. The things that we're afraid of run away ashamed and weak. And love will always find you if love is what you Hope is like a garden you'll never have to weed. Though hope might just be all you have, hope is all you need. Now don't regret the life you lived or let it get you down. There's a secret beauty in the moment that is now. When all is lost and life feels like it's broke beyond repair. Still you've got a reason not to fall into despair. Hope's the inspiration we all should come to. Though hope might just be all you have, hope is all you need. Though hope might just be all you have, but hope is all you need. You're watching Strip Down. We're spending another 60 minutes with Mr. Dick McInnes. A little different this time around. A lot of people asked, oh, Dick McInnes on twice in one season. How does that happen? Because we're booked up so months in advance. But I juggled to get you on again uh, because we might as well talk about this right off the top. Uh, again, I, I struggle with doing serious interviews. <laughs> Strip Down is, you know, usually a lot of fun. But I really wanted to get you on and talk about this because it's so important. But uh, a little bit of a family tragedy recently. Oh, it's yeah, it's very complicated. My uh, wife was re recently diagnosed with cancer, 
And so I put together an EP to raise funds for the Canadian Cancer Society. And the Relay for Life is next weekend. And uh, just want to raise some funds for that society because they've certainly helped us out already and probably more in the future. I know it's been a it's been a dramatic change in the life of Dick McKinnis recently. A new father, mm -hmm. you have a lovely daughter, and then uh, this happened. And I know that took you out of your game plan because you're one of the most ambitious artists we've ever had on Strip Down and that I've ever known personally. You had the trilogy of uh, discs, sex, drugs, and rock and roll well <laughs> underway. Yeah. You're a, you're a city councilor out in Dundurn. You do like a million things. You created your own software package, and this kind of kind of kind of took you out of the game plan. But you seem to be kind of on a, a new path, which is still um, positive. For, for right now, yeah, I'm just taking a break from, I'm taking a break from touring, first of all. Yeah, I'm Trying to stay obviously. close to home, so I'm working a couple of part-time jobs instead of uh, riding in a van all day. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's good. Good and the bad? Uh, yeah, well, I get to hang out with my daughter all day, so that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. How is your wife doing? She was one of the rare times we had a studio audience in here. Yeah. You've been on here twice before, once in season three. And uh, again, you helped, you were the fourth or third episode of season four back in September, mm -hmm. which pretty much tore the house down. But we'll talk about that a little later. Cool. How was your wife? She came in and she, was, she, she watched you play, I think, both She's times. an inspiration to me. She blows me away. She's the strongest person I know. And uh, yeah, she's doing well, all things considered. I mean, she's certainly very positive and upbeat and... Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> you can see the, uh, the the tone in the writing has changed a little bit too from that first song. Yeah, well, some of these, uh, yeah, that one I wrote after you know after we found out about that, and um, I'm, about half the songs we're playing tonight are going to be new, and but they're all written like within the last couple months. So yeah, there's definitely a change in tone, but it's uh, it's good. I think the songs are good. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not going to dwell on the negative this hour. We are for gonna sure insert a whole lot of positivity. We actually have cool. a interview we're going to show a little later I did today, a rare on location interview for Strip Down That's awesome. with someone from the uh, Canadian Cancer Society. Again, we want to uh, promote the Relay for Life happening uh, this, this weekend, so make sure you uh, stick around and watch that. But let's talk about the songs, the first one off the bat. Again, you wrote these in a very, very short amount of time. Yeah, what I usually write songs one? in a short amount of time, actually, yeah. but uh, it's just a matter of getting to record them and like you say, I was doing my trilogy, but uh, it just seemed more important to me to start something new and do something that was uh, not selfish, you know, yeah. right now. So, I don't know. All right, so the first song, obviously, was about, as you said, We Found Out. Yeah, it's called Hope. It's, uh, it's a hopeful song. All right. I liked it. Awesome. It was, yeah, it was uh, based on a couple songs that I really liked, and like for the music and the lyrics, respectively, but... Uh, I think it turned out well. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we'll talk about a bunch of stuff over the next hour, obviously, but let's get to song number two. What's this one called? What's this one about? This one's called The Bible, The Bottle, and You. Um, Jeff had the idea for the title of this song about six years ago, I guess, or so, and then I liked it, so I ripped it off and wrote the song. <laughs> you made it your own? Yeah. All right. Take it away. But we've, we've played it together for years, so I'm sure you'll like it. McKinnis. Thanks. I remember spending Saturdays Standing and playing games Like two hand touch but I always won I'd always find a way Leave you lying there breathless With that look upon your face Now it's been a while but I long to see The smile the time you raise I've been so lonely Without you, you're much too young for me to have to lose. I didn't even get to say goodbye. I, and they tell me Jesus saves us. much I miss the velvet skin God wrapped you in the sugar taste of your scarlet lips and I I wish that you were around to hold me now that I'm broken down to lift me up with your sweet love sure could use a friend right now Cause even though it's been so long I've been crying since you've been gone just one more night to hold you And they tell me Jesus saves, nobody could save you And there 
Open it up, whiskey to drown my blues. Well, it's three things now that I can turn to the Bible. The bottle and you. Even though it's been so long, I'm still crying since you've been gone. I wish I had just one more night to hold you. They tell me Jesus saves, oh, but he couldn't save you. And there ain't enough whiskey to drown my blues. Well, that's three things now that I can turn to the Bible. The bottle, they tell me Jesus saves, oh, but he couldn't save you. That's three things now that I can turn to the Bible, the Bible and you. We are spending another 60 minutes with Dick McKinnis here on Strip Down. Ah, your song's powerful, just like last time, but in a different way this time. Thanks. Yeah, I got tons of songs. I, I know that from your past to... Uh, Appearances on Strip Down again. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me. I don't know believing in Strip Down if that's a if that's a correct term. You're always absolutely really pumped to come. You yeah, bring your A game. And, that's cool. Uh, yeah, really, really thank you for that. It's cool to hear some of the you know the feedback you've given the show. So again, thank you for that. But again, don't want to don't want to devote the entire hour to anything negative. But again, we are uh, getting awareness out for Relay for Life this Saturday. So uh, there's a website, we're going to put it up, uh, and mm -hmm. that's where people can go to get more information. We'll talk about it again a little later, but we do have to gear up for our very first commercial break. Stick around, we have lots more with Dick McKinnis coming up right after this. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Long and McQuaid, 721 43rd Street East, Saskatoon, 2440509, or online at long mcquaidcom Ultimo Euromoto. Two oh four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon, 664-6640. Mr. Sicily Pizza and Pasta is proud to sponsor community programming on Shaw TV. Mr. Sicily, located at the corner of 51st and Miller in the north end of Saskatoon. 975-0345. Do you know where stuff goes once it's flushed down the toilet? It travels down pipes under our streets to a sewage treatment plant. There it is cleaned up through a variety of processes before it is sent back out in our lakes or rivers. The problem occurs when people flush things down the toilet like makeup, cleaning supplies, and some pharmaceuticals that the sewage treatment plant can't clean up. They are dumped untreated into our waterways, which other people depend on for their drinking water. Some cities continue to dump their sewage untreated into our waterways, while others are using innovative thinking to reuse sewage byproducts as fertilizer. What can you do? Be sure to properly dispose of any chemicals or unused medicine at your city's hazardous waste disposal site. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? And we're back. You're watching Strip Down. We're spending 60 minutes with Dick McKinnis. Dick? So good to have you back on stage. You too. Man, season four, I believe it was the third episode back in September. You were here in season three. You had a pretty solid show. And you, when I talked to you about bringing on a band, you're like, I didn't know we could have full-on bands on Strip Down. So you brought a band, 
And yeah, you you rocked this place down. You had one of my favorite shows easily. Thank you. Yeah, I was sick that that week, so I don't feel like I brought my A game. But when I was watching it after, I was like, man, you're a solid guy. That was a solid band. That was one of the best episodes we've done back in September. So thank oh, you for that. Much. Appreciate that. Left the dot cool. coms at home though this time. I... Or is this kind of an extension of the dot coms? They don't have microphones on. They chose to be silent during this. Yeah, hour, they're silent partners. Who have you who have you brought with you? George Wingham and Jeff Smuck. Okay. Yeah. And they're just part of this rolling entourage that Dick McInnes. Yeah, rolls Jeff Smuck with. and I have played together for like uh, seven years or something like that. Oh. And George just started playing with us uh, this year. Okay. This is like the acoustic set, kind of. Well, if you're playing acoustic. Yeah. You call these guys. Um, you're rocking yeah. out. You play. You call the dot coms, or is it just like this giant bag of musicians, and you just kind of reach in and whoever you get. That's, that's probably usually the best thing to do. Yeah. yeah. It's like. Well, what am I gonna do this time? If I, you know, if I needed a, a string quartet, obviously, I mean, I wouldn't call you guys. So no offense. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Yeah. Uh, so when you were writing these songs in the short mm -hmm. amount of time it took, were you thinking acoustic, or were you just like, hey? Well, I write all in. songs on acoustic, really. So I just. Uh, you know, I started, I, I wrote them and then I started recording them right away, so they just turned out that way. And I generally try to play everything live the way it was recorded, at least the first time. Okay. Yeah. All right. It sounds better that way. Absolutely. You wouldn't want to see Pink Floyd playing like Mellotrons and stuff instead of guitars. Maybe not. I would. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get to another song, Dick McInnes. Song number three. This one's called Just For You. Just for you. Yeah. Again, off the new, the new project. Mm -hmm. Just for you yeah. by Dick McInnes. Thanks. I used to have friends. I made them all smile. We stayed out all night drinking once in a while. Now they're gone. Thought we would all go on acting that way Watching the night turning into the day I was wrong They all grew up and I kept having fun Till I lost all the people I loved one by one I was alone when you entered my life But I knew that someday I'd make you my wife if I could When you ignored me, it shattered my heart I couldn't admit that I was falling apart like I should And all the emotions I wanted to hide Wouldn't stay where I locked them away I lost control and we started to fight I forgot how to find nice things to write just for you Buried my pain in a bottle of beer Who could I talk to about all the fear I went through? When I'd admit it, I'd done it all wrong You were tender and caring and helped me And 
Couldn't bear to lose you that way after all that I've done to push you away. You're here still. And I'm more determined than ever before to support you the way that you showed me love. I'm so very sorry I get angry and shout And I can't remember what we were fighting about Anymore So great to hear your sweet voice on the phone And I can't wait for you to come back home Not like before Cause this time I'll swear that I'll act like I should I promise I've made all my changes for good And I love you Weak or strong And I've loved you all along. That was a beautiful song, Dick McGinnis. Thank you very much. Making my job kind of hard tonight. <laughs> you so cry? Rare, rare. There's people <laughs> dropping stuff, but there's rare. Rare emotion here tonight. That song was amazing. Sweet, thank you very much. Yeah, and you usually ask what songs are about, but that one's that pretty was, straightforward. Uh, that was that was pretty obvious. Uh, during the commercial break, you were kind of mocking a kid who was listening to a CD. And you're like, really? People still listen to CDs? <laughs> so that also answers another question of like, if this is going to be available, this new album on CD, you're probably just going to release it online. I'm guessing. Online, yeah. And uh, all the proceeds will go to the Canadian Cancer Society. And where do people find this? They'll find it at DickMcInnes.com. Okay, so many projects on the go too, mm -hmm. and all your your past stuff is there available as well, right? Yeah, the the last album is free now, so you can download that for free. Donate it if you like. Okay. All the proceeds from that go to me. Yeah. Okay. But all the proceeds to this current project go to the Cancer Society. Yeah. Uh, since since you found out your wife has uh, been diagnosed with cancer, how involved have you been with the Cancer Society? I was talking to the gentleman today. We're going to play that interview in a little bit, and he seemed. Well, they provide a lot of information, mm -hmm. um, like you don't know what to expect as far as treatment or uh, what the odds are or how to handle something like that. Like I've never had any real sickness in my immediate family at all, so certainly they provide a lot of information and uh, help for, for the people suffering and, uh, and their families. That's something you know you never think about till you, yeah, that sounds no so cliche, but you never think about it till you have to, right? Yeah, absolutely. Crazy. 
So Relay yeah. for Life coming up this weekend. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's kind of your first. Uh, we were involved in the Relay for Life last year okay last year because uh, Megan had a relative who was a survivor and uh, so we participated as a team to support her and then uh, yeah so I was actually asked to do it again this year before we knew so it was just kind of what's obvious that I had to do it what's the atmosphere like for the for it's, it's good it's good yeah. Uh, yeah there's a lot of hope it's all you know it, the survivors do a lap and um, everybody's there to support people who have you know have gone through it so it's it's really good it's a positive thing yeah we couldn't get someone on the show tonight but this afternoon i made the uh made the trip out to the canadian cancer society and did a quick interview with the guy to help promote relay for life just because he couldn't be here tonight so maybe we'll throw to that after this next song before our commercial break so let's do another song okay i'll throw to the interview and then uh, we'll we'll take a break right. okay what's where do we go mr mckinnis this one's for Boudica, my daughter okay it's called someday We are spending 60 minutes with Dick McKinnis, and let's jump uh, once again into Relay for Life. You were there last year. It's a heck of a time. They're still open for volunteers or participants. It is this Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, give, give, give the pitch. You've been there. I've never partake. I mean, why should, even if uh, cancer doesn't affect you, why should you come help out? Well, I think cancer affects everybody. I mean, sure, everybody knows somebody that's been affected by it. So, uh, yeah, just... 
Get out and volunteer. It's just a time to do a push to raise money for the Canadian Cancer Society, and they really help families with cancer. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. ag again, we were trying to get a uh, gentleman on the show tonight to help talk about Relay for Life, but he was unavailable. So I went down this afternoon and I did a quick interview with Dean Butcher. So uh, if we can roll that right away before our second commercial break, uh, here here it is. You know, straight from a uh, gentleman that works at the Canadian Cancer Society of why this is so important. Roll tape, guys. We are on location here at the Canadian Cancer Society. I'm alongside Dean Butcher. And where do we even begin? We're talking about Saskatoon Relay for Life 2011. You want to talk about an event with such a strong history, you got to talk about Relay for Life. Again, where do we even begin? Uh, I mean, we started 11 years ago. Uh, Saskatoon was the first uh, centre in Saskatchewan that decided to do this crazy event. Uh, no manuals, all we had was some photos from um, the uh, American Cancer Society where it originated. And yeah, 11 years later, we're still going strong and it's, it's really opened a lot of doors for the Canadian Cancer Society and for the public that we serve. Mm -hmm. All right, give us the details of what exactly the Relay for Life is. I'm guessing it's some sort of a relay. Yeah, well, first of all, it's a 12-hour overnight event. Starts at 6 in, at night and goes till 6 in the morning. It's non-competitive. Uh, we get teams of 10 to 12 people, their co-workers, family, friends, whatever. They, um, they form a team, they raise money for the Canadian Cancer Society, they have their own campsites, we encourage them to decorate, have a theme, and um, yeah, and then we go all night. Um, it doesn't matter where you are uh, in the world, and it's in 19 different countries now, um, Relay for Life starts with the Celebrate, the, the Cancer Survivor Victory Lap. At dusk is the, um, the Remember uh, Luminary Ceremony. And then at, at about sunrise, we do what we call fight back. So, uh, like I said, it doesn't matter where you are, this is the event. Um, we're looking for over 1,100 participants this year. We're hoping for about 250 cancer survivors. And we're prepared to light almost 3,000 luminaries. People hear those details and obviously they're thinking it's an emotional time, which it is, but I also can't stress the enthusiasm and the fun it is. I mean, that's really the drawing card. People have the time of their lives here. Absolutely. It's it's a time for individuals to be able to uh, meet with, uh, you know, on, on a different level with, let's say, co-workers or even with families and friends. There's activities, there's live entertainment. Uh, of course, you know, you have that, that emotional sea of yellow when the cancer survivors do that celebrate victory lap at the start of every relay. Uh, and, you know, a lot of tears are shed at the luminary ceremony. I mean, when you think that there's going to be almost 3,000 candles lit and each of those bags will have a name of a survivor and someone who's lost their battle. So, I mean, we honor those who have beaten cancer, but we also, you know, remember those that didn't. Uh, and that's, that's, yeah, it's very emotional. It's also a good time to, uh, you know, make a difference, get out there, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, we used to say that the Canadian Cancer Society is there to beat cancer. Uh, we've now changed that thought. Uh, we're now the Canadian Cancer Society who's fighting for life. Um, we know that with better research, we are improving the lives of people who are living with cancer. People are living longer. Um, and so their treatments are better, uh, you know, it, it's everything. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's an event that embraces the entire community from two years old to 102 years old. Uh, and, and it's fun, and, it, and that's what it's supposed to be, as well as being a fundraiser for the Canadian Cancer Society. And it's not too late to get involved if people out there want more information or to get involved, where's the best way to do that? Uh, I think just call our main switchboard here at the Canadian Cancer Society, 244-4389. Again, 244-4389. Uh, and it's Friday, June the 10th, Deepa Baker Park. Uh, come out, and even if you're not part of a team or not a survivor and you just want to see what's going on, you're more than welcome. All right, thank you so much, Mr. Butcher. We'll see you there. Thank you. Mr. Sicily Pizza and Pasta is proud to sponsor community programming on Shaw TV. Mr. Sicily, located at the corner of 51st and Miller in the north end of Saskatoon. 975-0345. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Long in the Quay, 721 43rd Street East Saskatoon, 244-0509 or online at long mcquadecom Ultimo Euromoto. Two hundred four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon, six six four sixty six forty. Oh my God! Look at that! 
Thank God she's a half a mile away, huh? She's loaded, boys. You gotta get out of here. It's full of explosives. Children. Explosives. Come on. Oh, no. Bill, get out of here. Vince. Come back in the school. Please, get these children out of here. That ship is gonna blow. No. Mr. Coleman. Hurry. Hurry. You gotta get these people out of here. That ship is gonna blow. The train. What? People, get out of here. It's gonna blow up. Condition ship on fire. Stop train. Please, God, answer. Goldman, there's no time. The train's coming in towards Pier 6. I've got to warn you. Come on, Vince, come on. There are 700 people aboard it. I've got to stop it. Come on, come on, acknowledge. Halifax was devastated. 9,000 wounded, 2,000 dead, including Vince Coleman, dispatcher. Ladies and gentlemen, Dick McInnes. On the night I met her, it was fear at first sight And I never felt so confused inside Have a left brain saying this don't make sense But my right mind knew she was heaven sent Supernatural surprise She's been enchanting me, but I don't mind being caught under the spell of her witchcraft eyes, yeah. So I tried to push her out of my head. She crept into my heart instead Until I needed that feeling to change my mind Started thinking about her all the time Supernatural surprise Falling in love, my hands are tied She's been enchanting me, but I don't mind being caught under the spell of her witchcraft eyes, yeah. I had another girl, but I broke her heart. Cause that woman and I can't be kept apart. I've been here before and I was in love with her then. So if there's such a thing as love, baby, count me in. Supernatural surprise Falling in love, my hands are tied She's been enchanting me, but I don't mind Being caught under the spell of her witchcraft eyes, yeah There's a classic from Dick McInnes. Yeah, I've heard that song once or twice. Is that not off the album Everything I Learned About Love? Yeah. Yes. I hope you're not offended by the story. First time you were on the show, you gave me your little press kit. Yeah. Had a CD of all your tracks and had a video. And uh, I don't know. I just didn't listen to it. However, yeah, I've got lots of after like the second time you were on the show, I went back to the collection. I was like, where is this CD? And it probably didn't leave my car for four months. Cool. Well, so, yeah. So I, I, I apologize. I missed them both the first time. But man, I don't care. That, the, everything I learned about love. I, I got that right? I yeah. pulled that out of everything the I've Everything you've heard about love. Everything you've heard about love. <laughs> I, I, I was know. close. Yeah. Uh, yeah, one of my favorite discs. Yeah, Seriously. Cool. One you. of my favorite Appreciate local that. performers, Dick McInnes. Again, yeah. uh, the, first, the second time you were on the show, beginning of the season, kind of legendary. Cool. It's kind of jaw-dropping, the, uh, the, the energy and the sound you brought to the room. Uh, so, again, the trilogy you started a few years ago, the mm -hmm. sex, drugs, and rock and roll, kind of on hold. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, the next two albums are about half done, but they're just on okay. hold while I do this other thing. Well, you're doing a real trilogy, like Back to the Future. You're just kind of doing the second and third at the same time. Yeah, or? absolutely, exactly like that. So no real... Back to the Future, yeah. That's, that's my the favorite old... CD. That's the only trilogy <laughs> I acknowledge. Yeah. So uh, no timeline, though? Just whenever it happens, it happens? Yeah, be probably next year. Okay. Yeah. And again, is it going to be radical changes between the two discs, or...? Well, I, I never mean, know what to expect. You hear what you. I'm playing tonight? This is like what the, the EP that I'm releasing right now it sounds like. Yep. And so it's radically different than the first album, but the uh, second album is going to be even different than that. Okay. Not either one. I don't know. There's lots of keyboards on it and stuff. Really? Yeah. And again, just playing with a array of kind of floating musicians. Uh, the... Well, no, I do all the recording myself. I forgot about that. Not content doing everything else yourself. You play every... Everything. Yeah. Okay. How? How do you find time to do all that? Well, I go like this, and then I do this. And I go, ah. Good answer. There, it's done. Right. <laughs> now I feel stupid, so let's go to another song. <laughs> I'm going to go shake that harsh answer off in the corner. <laughs> Good luck. You took a, you took a break from uh, your current album you're promoting, which, again, is available on your website. All proceeds go to the Canadian Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. You took a break from that with your last song, so what's up next? Are you going back to the current project, or are you going to do another Dick McKinney yeah, these are classic? Two, we're going to do two new songs that are, that are on this. Yeah. Okay. So This one's called The Night Brings a Change. All right. Take cool. it away. Wake up in the morning with a head that's full of rage. You just can't shake the feeling. You're burning inside a cage. The day wears on, you tell yourself, I'm making up my mind. Alone and full of shame 
night, oh, the night brings a change. And we're back. You're watching Strip Down, another amazing song from Dick McInnes. I'm going to get you on, put you on hold for one second here. Uh, really quickly, before the uh, last commercial break, we got to throw it over to our audio engineer and check in with Mr. Bennett Dobney. Ben, how are you doing today? Doing very well tonight. Curtis, how are you? Welcome back to Strip Down. I'm doing good. Different vibe in the Strip Down studio tonight. I'm really digging on Mr. McInnes' songs. Thank you once again, Ben, for making everything sound fantastic. Oh, yeah, you're very welcome. I'm also really digging Dick McInnes' new work. It's, it's great. You. Your, your relentless work to make Strip Down sound perfect each and every week is very much appreciated, Ben, by by myself and of course every musician so well thank thanks. you curtis thanks again for coming on we need to uh wrap the season up quickly though ben we only got a couple more two or three more shows and then we, we break for summer and then season five i guess i don't know what i'm gonna do with myself on on wednesday night oh you're so. just being sarcastic now yeah. it's uh <laughs> it, it's been a, a wild ride this season yeah it's ben. we've been you, all over the place it's you been jumped a good on ride, and we've though. had mo badass we've had episode 100 we've had the pirate fridays and that was all yeah. Just in the fall, it's been it's been a it's been a, a, gr a great ride. And again, thanks for making the show uh, sound great. Every oh well, week. thanks ben for Dominic. having me, Curtis. It's ben been a Dominic, great everybody. Time. Thank you. All right, we have to take our last commercial break, but we wrap up with Dick McInnes coming up right after this. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Long and McWave, 721 43rd Street East, Saskatoon, 244-0509, or online at long-mcquade.com. Ultimo Euromoto. Two hundred four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon, six six four sixty six forty. Mr. Sicily Pizza and Pasta is proud to sponsor community programming on Shaw TV. Mr. Sicily, located at the corner of Fifty First and Miller in the north end of Saskatoon, nine seven five zero three four five. down the toilet. It travels down pipes under our streets to a sewage treatment plant. There it is cleaned up through a variety of processes before it is sent back out in our lakes or rivers. The problem occurs when people flush things down the toilet like makeup, cleaning supplies, and some pharmaceuticals that the sewage treatment plant can't clean up. They are dumped untreated into our waterways, which other people depend on for their drinking water. Some cities continue to dump their sewage untreated into our waterways while others are using innovative thinking to reuse sewage byproducts as fertilizer. What can you do? Be sure to properly dispose of any chemicals or unused medicine at your city's hazardous waste disposal site. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, Dick McInnes. I've got holes in the pockets of my faded jeans. Every patch is a memory of the places I've been. 
We are wrapping things up with Dick McInnes. Dick, thanks again for coming on again. Thanks for having me. Show three with Dick McInnes, and it was uh, just as different and just as amazing as the other two. Thanks. Again, you came on tonight to help promote Relay for Life, which is happening this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, your wife, unfortunately, recently diagnosed with cancer, so, of course, really near and dear to your heart now. Uh, I ask support everybody to uh, either volunteer or just donate some money if you can't make it. Uh, just really, really support the Canadian Cancer Society. Uh, yeah, it was a, it was a pretty pretty intense hour. Thank you so much for being on cool. Stripped Down. Thanks for having me. Uh, we'll have you on again when uh, mm. your, your wonderful wife's cancer is all gone and you write your like celebration disc. Cause, yeah. Because I know it's coming. It's coming soon. Oh, so yeah. any, uh, any final thoughts? I love you, Megan. Uh, all right. I'll throw it out to uh, tonight's cast and crew. Big thanks for you, uh, you guys showing up tonight. Uh, of course, our sponsors, Long and McQuaid. Ultimo Yuramoto and Mr. Sicily Pizza. Uh, you can find this guy on DickMcInnes.com for all things stripped down. Uh, just go to Facebook and find the dancing girl on Strip Down and hit like. 
And uh, that's it. That wraps up episode 122 of Strip Down. Thanks for watching for the last time tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Dick McKinnis. Thank you, man. Thank you. This one's called Love Him. She watches him fall down the stairs. He's the answer to all her prayers. Although his mind has gone astray, still she won't give up on him anyway. Sometimes love is bound to hurt. She's gonna love him for better or worse. Flickers out, but the love won't fade. Never forget the promise that she made. She said, I'll love him, I 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 love him. Everyone says she won't be blamed. She just pulls the plug, walks away. She don't bring flowers anymore. She'll stand by him till they get to the other shore. Cause no one gets to pick what kind of hand we're dealt. Sickness strong is with a clean bill of health. When you're in love, you shouldn't have to plead that your lover won't leave you in your time of need. Said I love him, 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 love him, I 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 love him. All the good times they had Swore that you'd take them all with the bad When you're in love you shouldn't have to plead That your lover won't leave you in your time of need Said I love him, 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 I love him Love him, I 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 love him Love him, I 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 love him Love him, I 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 love him.
was coming up from all the drugs, but you affect me more than ecstasy. If you still. 